All right, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Sunday's Vision Not in Life. My name is Adewale Boke Jr. Please review us. Rate us, give us a five star. Don't be a hater. Today, I'm going to continue to talk about my superheroes like I've been doing. Um, today, I'm going to focus on the Hulk. Yeah, I think one of the most misunderstood, coolest characters ever. It's kind of a dual character because he's Bruce Banner and he's also the Hulk. But before we get into this podcast, we want to thank our sponsors. This Sounds Vision Podcast is brought to you by Anadel for the Ankle. Don't live with foot pain like Anadel for the Ankle. Make your feet happy again. That's AnadelCenter.com for details, y'all. That's AnadelCenter.com for details, y'all. As I stated before, I got my custom orthotics. Every pair of these goes into every pair of my batas, whether it's the sport ones, the low tops, the high tops. Um, does not matter. I always got my uh, Anadel for the Ankle insoles in there. Custom orthotics designed to my speed specifically. Used to have foot pain, no more foot pain. So make your appointment today at anadelcenter.com. That's anadelcenter.com for details, y'all. All right, y'all. Let's get into this podcast. I'm pretty excited about it, the Hulk. But I know you're wondering, this bomber jacket. Yeah, that's right. It's a gold label bomber jacket, custom design, strictly for the creator, like myself. You know, I'm into sewing. I got my own sewing machine. So everything I do is custom orthotics, man. So if you want one of these awesome bomber jackets, custom apparel, look at it, man. It's it's pretty cool. And it's slim fit design. So, you know, it's not all bulky and stuff. It's it's just sick, man. You know what I mean? So you can get yours on soundvision.com today. So let's get into it, man. The Hulk. The things that I'm going to talk about. His origins, the history, his powers, comics, animation, movies. I mean, there's a whole bunch. And just so that I get everything on the right and right, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure I got my Wikipedia here on my Google. You know what I mean? I'm not messing around with this. I think, I think it's important to have the right information about this guy. Because ever since I started this superhero catalog thing I've been doing, I've been enjoying it a lot. And... Um, I got to tell you, I don't want to be wrong with anything that I say. Wikipedia. There we go. Let's see here. I got my Wikipedia right here. Oh, yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Here we go. Man, this dude got history. Talk about history. Oh, my God. Man. Talk about history. Before we get into this. Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. Yep, he's a part of the Avengers. You know what I mean? Um, God, what can I say about Hulk? You got the Hulk right here and of course his cousin. She-Hulk. Who I think is cool. Not as cool, but she's cool too. You know what I mean? But the Hulk, man. Probably the most powerful Avenger. I, I felt like... Let's talk about his, his, his history. The most misunderstood character. Um, he's always been like that character. So, of course, the history. Bruce Banner performs gamma ra ra radiation tests on himself. Next thing you know, radiation turns him into like this crazy... Um, it just gives him power. So, whenever he gets angry, he turns into the, the Hulk. Bruce Banner, who's like a skinny 5'11 dude, and then turns into a 7'700 pound green, muscular, superhuman being that can jump, run fast. The only thing he can't do like Superman is heat vision and fly. I mean, Hulk is incredible. I mean, this dude is... I think he's the most misunderstood, most, the most underused, the most... the most... the most... the most intelligent character I've ever seen in like animation comics. Like, like he doesn't get enough TV time. And I think throughout the origin, his whole origin, like, so his first issue, okay, the first time he ever showed up, publication date, let's just say his comic book, his first time he ever showed up was in 1962, from, 19, from May 1962 to March 1963, in the comic issues, which is something I'm going to get into later, you know what I mean, but he was created by Stanley and Jack Kirby, and I remember the story of Jack Kirby, I mean, excuse me, Stanley saying he wanted to create somebody who was like a doctor, you know, Stanley always had these awesome, awesome stories about how he wanted to create a character that was green, that was an alter ego of another human being. Like, what would it be like for somebody when they got angry? What would they turn into? And that's how he got the Hulk. I mean, some of the stuff Stanley came up with is like super cool. I mean, it's just insane. And I would be like, I would take those elements and put it into my universe, the Card of Assassin universe. So, you know, like the Hulk is like one of those characters that he, he just came out of the anger of somebody. What your alter ego would be if you were like pissed off. Or somebody just, just, you decided, you know what, I'm going to go on a rampage and give everybody that business. I mean, can you imagine a seven foot green looking human being just walking down the street and just, people just be like, what the hell is that? You know, even in the movie, like the Incredible Hulk, the movie, which I'm going to talk about later, that scene in Harlem where they're fighting and he's fighting Abomination. I'm like, 
These people got to be creeped out right now. Like, what the hell? There's like a two seven foot green things about to go at each other. But that's always been the, the Hulk, man. This misunderstood individual who, which I mean, it's going to lead to his history. It's like just in incredible. And the thing about origins about origin is, I mean, um, the Incredible Hulk is that not only is there the Green Hulk, but there's the Grey Hulk. But then also too, he's actually intelligent. Just like in the Avengers movies. You get to see that, oh, he is both most, both strong and intelligent. I think one of the coolest things was in the comic issues from in the 90s when it was Marvel versus um, DC and he fought Superman. I was so mad when he lost to Superman. I said, you got to be kidding me. Hulk can actually fight. You know what I mean? And he lost to Superman? Man, you got me twisted. But that's the origins of the Incredible Hulk. So let's see. Incredible Hulk. So let's see here. Because like I said, all right, so he was created by Jack Kirby and Stan Lee. And of course, Jack Kirby, you know, was the... Jack Stan Lee was the brains of the thing. And then Jack Kirby was the creator of the team. Of course, until they got Steve DeVito, who joined the team, who helped to create Spider-Man. But the original creation, like, I'm going to tell you all as much as I can right here. So in the 19... Okay, so let's see here. The Hulk is an, it's basically a, like it's an ongoing comic series featuring Marvel Comics superhero. It first issue came out in May 1962, the series, which was a series of comic books, right? But like I said, Stan Lee's main reason for creating the comic, creating the comic um, character was just, it, it, like I said, the story of how you just want to see what it would be like for a human being to turn into something else. And that's where the Hulk came from. And then you can tell the, the vast differences between Bruce Banner and Hulk. And then, of course, even if you ever watch the uh, cartoon, the Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, or Earth Avengers Assemble, you get to see how the Hulk's like, yo, I'm my own personality. We're sharing this body, but man, you get on my nerves. You know what I mean? So it's, it's a very awesome, um, 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 creation. And even though Jack Kirby and Stan Lee created the Hulk in 19, I believe right here, uh, in 1964 on issue number 60 of the comic book, Steve Ditko redrew Hulk, kind of recreated, um, um, penciler Steve Ditko, legend, legend, we created the Hulk to make him look different. I don't know. The Hulk, like I said, which now I'm going to move into his history, is totally misunderstood. I think it's the most misunderstood character I've ever seen in my life. I ain't never seen where somebody just like, just, you throw him away because he's different. Or he's never gotten the, um, the, the, the justice. Like I remember those, they actually created Wolverine to go in the comic series, right? Wolverine came out because he was supposed to be a villain, supposed to go fight Hulk. Then somehow Wolverine becomes a superhero and then he becomes more famous than Hulk. Like he's always been backseated. Even in the movies, man. The last Hulk movie we saw was in 2013, maybe 2012. And I thought that Incredible Hulk movie was great. But Hulk has never gotten his just dessert, right? So the Hulk is smart. And I'm not talking about Bruce Banner here. Before I get into Bruce Banner, let's talk about the Hulk. He's smart, intelligent, charismatic, misunderstood, strong as hell, fast as hell, can leap buildings in a single bound. He can do everything Superman can do except for the flight and the heat vision. And maybe the freeze breath. But even that, he's got the Hulk smash hands things together. You know what I mean? And then you take Bruce Banner, right? Who's this alter ego of him, human being, genius scientist, who whenever he gets mad turns into Hulk. But then Bruce Banner himself creates this alter ego out of like science. Um, you know, when you're a scientist, you try everything, man. This guy experimented on himself. And then all of a sudden, General Ross is like, well, if you're going to create the Hulk... Oh, we're going to super soldier this, then we're going to turn this into military application. And that's what you see in the Incredible Hulk movie, which was kind of shocking to me because the movie was so damn good. I loved it. Even the fighting scene at the end with Ab Abomination, which I'm going to get to at the, end of the, at the end of the show as I go talk about the Hulk some more. But he just was not that... Man, it, it, it just sucked, man, like, to, to, like where his history is not... He's just... Like, even me talking about it, I feel sad about it because the Hulk is the most misunderstood superhero, I think... Even even Thanos, I mean, in one of these comic series, I remember I was reading, and Thanos said the one person that would give me hell would be the Hulk, not the BS that you saw in the uh, uh, Avengers Endgame, which wasn't BS because Thanos is a bad mofo himself. But Hulk would have given him that real work. I mean, the real Hulk from the comic books would have given him work. But that's the history, man. Bruce Banner, all of a sudden, he destroys the lab. As I was telling the story, General Ross hunts him down for the rest. So for the rest of his history of existence, he gets. Haunted no matter what. He can never have a peace of mind. He can never just sit somewhere. He can never just sit in the park and say, I'm just going to sit here and, and throw some racks at the pigeons. He can't do any of that. The minute he touches down, you got 5-0, you got FBI, you got CI, you got everybody. Shield, all of them just after him all the time. And they're not after him because they want to uh, help him. They're after him because they want to manipulate and use him and create more like him. 
it's like you're not creating more of me so i think that's one of the things about the hulk even in the first avengers movie you see that when uh scarlett johansson's character black widow shows up in there talking about i came here to talk and then all of a sudden she's got a bunch of shield agents around the I'm like you, you really came here to talk really you know what i mean so his history his whole aura, his whole beam has never been. You know that I'm looking at this bomber jacket? There's a part of me that wants to go make a Hulk bomber jacket because I just think the Hulk is the shit. You know what I mean? So the Hulk is the shit. I just think that dude is the shit. Plain and simple, man. You know what I mean? The Hulk is that dude. That's that's his history. Now let's talk about his history. Now let's talk about his powers, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, this dude is loaded, man. He, he, he's got instantaneous healing like, uh, like Wolverine. He's bulletproof. Strength is unlimited. The matter he gets, the stronger he gets. He can run fast as hell. I'm talking fast like Superman fast. Like 700 pounds moving that fast. That's insane. He moves. Imagine like, I don't know. I don't know if, I, I don't know if this is scientifically possible, but imagine a, like a, like a, like a F-22 but on the ground. That, that's how fast the Hulk moves. And then the amount of ratio of inertia that he hits you with. Like, how, I don't know how villains like Thanos and so, or even heroes like Superman get hit by all abomination. Cause the Hulk's, the Hulk is like, he probably bench presses like three trillion, three trillion pounds or something. I mean, this dude is ridiculously strong. And then not to mention he's actually intelligent. When you take all that muscle, all that brawn, he's actually very intelligent. We're not talking about Bruce, Bruce Banner. I mean, Bruce Banner. We're talking about the Hulk. He's, a, he's actually intelligent. Cause the Hulk and, and I think, I think when the character was created, a lot of, a lot of the Hulk, which most people don't understand, is he's literally Bruce Banner, but he's just a bigger version. Uh, uh, I don't want to call it an alien. Just a, a, a superhuman version of Bruce Banner. His skin just happens to be green. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, the Hulk is that dude. Speed, strength, jumping ability. If you want to call it leaping ability. Um, um, he, can, he can literally just punch through walk, grip walls. Like most people climb walls. This dude grips walls. You know what I mean? Just like in the movie. Um, his strength is unlimited as stated before. I mean, I would just be, like I said, the, the matter he gets, the stronger he gets. It's just ridiculous. He's bulletproof. He's got instantaneous healing. Um, he really can't break any bones, which is, which is insane. Which is why in the movie, when he wore the uh, Infinity Gauntlet, I was shocked when his whole hand went on fire. I was like, what? The Hulk's hand's on fire? You got to be kidding me, man. But the hands were on fire, man. I'm trying to see if I have him on my t-shirt, man. Oh, I got this all-star t-shirt on, right? Do I have a Hulk on over here? Nah, it's on the back. Y'all can't even see it. But if you want a t-shirt, all-star t-shirt, sunvision.com because we're making cool new shirts, man. You know what I mean? But that's the Hulk's powers, man. I mean, this dude is all that bag of chips. Now, let's get... Now, let's get into the comics of the Hulk, right? So, like, the first issue comics that ever came out for the Hulk was in 19... Issue number one, May 1962. Um, art by, was by Jack Kirby and, um, and what art was by Jack Kirby and Paul Ryman. So let me see if I, I'm going to pull it up for y'all so y'all can see it. It's right here in the corner. I'd be remiss if I didn't show y'all. Check that out in the corner. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? That's the incredible, the first comic book. I mean, the Hulk is probably one of the most, man... He, he's like misunderstood. So he, he has a bunch of issues. So comic issue number one was in May 1962 and it ran till March 1963. And then volume two, because it was a series of volumes and the volumes went all the way till number five. So then volume volume two was April 1968 to March 1999, which was insane. So that's like 30 years almost. They literally ran one volume for, t for almost 30 years. And then volume one, Hulk volume one, was in April 1999 to February 2000, you know what I'm saying? And then volume three was March 2000 to December 2007. And vol Hulk volume two was March 2008 to October 2012. And then volume two continued September 2009 to October 2010. I mean, this did not stop. And then the, and then Hulk, and the Incredible Hulks, which were different categories of Hulks, which is still in vo volume two continued November 2010 to October 2011. And then volume four, December 2011 to December 2012. And then Indestructible Hulk, January 2013 to May 2014, and then Hulk Volume 3, June 2014 to 2015, and then Total Awesome Hulk. As you can see, the titles kept on changing. This dude, they just keep coming up with names for this dude. February 2016 to November 2017, and then Hulk Volume 4, February 7, 2017 to December 2017, and then Volume 2 continued, Number 2, December 2017 to July 2018, and then the Immortal Hulk, August 2018 
to December 2021. And then Hulk Volume 5, January 22nd to the present. So he's had a whole bunch of series of comics. And then, you know, going through the decades, right? So The Nicola Book is an ongoing comic series featuring Marvel Comics superhero The Hulk and his alter ego, Dr. Bruce Banner. First published in May 1962, the series ran for a for six issues before it was canceled in March 1963. And the Hulk character began appearing in Tales of Astonish, which with issue number 102, Tales to Astonish, was, rena was renamed to The Incredible Hulk in April 1960, becoming the second volume. The series continued to run until the issue number 474 in March 1990, 1999. That is insane amount of comic books. Um, you know what I'm saying? And then publication history, right? Of course, the original series was published and canceled, was, was canceled with issue number six, March 1963. Lee had written each story. Stanley, of course, the great Stanley had written each story with Jack Kirby penciling the first five issues and then Steve Disco penciling and inking the next, inking the sixth. You know what I'm saying? Um, a year and a half after the series was canceled, the Hulk became one of the two features in Tales of Assange becoming issue number 60, in, um, 1964. I mean, the Hulk has been in a bunch of comic books, man. Which is kind of shocking to me. So in the 1970s, the Incredible Hulk Volume Two was published through the 1970s. Through the 1970s, at times the writers included Archie Godwin, Chris Claremont, Tony Isabella. Uh, Lynn Wynn wrote the uh, series from 1974 to 1978. The thing about comic books for any character, even the Hulk or whoever it might be, you always have a bunch of different character creators. Maybe the same person writing, but somebody else doing the inking, doing the penciling, doing the whatever. And usually you have a team, but. It's a rare case where you're doing like what I'm doing, where I'm literally the anchor, the pencil, the drawer, the writer, the whole gambit. That's me. That's how I'm doing Cards of Assassin because I can be a writer. I am. I'm, it's not like I can be a writer. I am a writer. But, you know, back in the day, it was like everything was assigned to different places. So Stanley was a storyteller. Cats would. If you've ever seen this the issue on Disney Plus, there's a story about Stanley. It's so cool. Y'all got to watch it. It tells the story of how Stanley really, the whole comp, st Marvel Comics thing started. And he would. Have the artist Jack Kirby, Steve Ditko, they would draw the stuff out. Then he would go in there and put in the the, the comic bubbles and write in the information. In there. It was insane and totally inspirational. And then also too, in um in 1977, Mar Marvel launched a second title, The Rampaging Hulk, a black and white comics magazine, which is insane. Never heard of that before. This was the original, conceived as a flashback series set between the end of his original and short-lived solo title and the beginning of his feature, The Tales of Astonish. I mean, then, of course, going into the 1990s, right? Following Roger Stern and Bill, um, Malco Tech took over the writing with the issue of number 245, March 1980. Among, advers among the adversaries, Malco created the series of UFOs and Soviet super soldiers, Mantle's, cross of inter Mantle Mantle's Crossroads of Eternity stories, which ran through issues number 300 through 313 from October 1984 to November 1985, explored the idea that Banner had suffered child abuse. Later, the incredible writers Peter David and Greg Park called the, called the stories an influence of approaches to series. I mean, it was just insane. And of course, it's been relaunched a bunch of times. In 1999, it got relaunched. Um, following David departure, following David's departure from Marvel, Joe Casey took over as the writer until the series ended. The Incredible Hulk, Volume Two, Number Seventy, Number Four Seventy Four, March Nineteen Ninety Nine. Like I said before, there's always somebody changing the comic books. Always, it's like you just have a bunch of writers. I mean, I guess companies. I don't want to call it discardment, man, but I feel like sometimes it kind of is discardment. They just take you and shove you to the side, and the only person that really they're just changing that artist, man. It's like artists are treated like rolling. Through the door. Oh, just hire another one. Oh, just hire another one. I mean, it's just, it's just how it is. And, and I think what I learned what allows me to, what really take, makes me stay independent is to avoid nonsense like this. I'm not just going to let somebody discard me. Companies do that all the time. You know what I mean? Um, but that's comics, man. And that's, I, I don't know if the Hulk's comics are as popular as, let's say, Spider Man. I feel like Spider Man might be the most popular comic book, but they do have a lot of, um, Hulk has history. He has almost, so 1962 to right now, he has almost, God, almost 70 years of comics going. And even though comics aren't as popular as today, anybody who has anything Hulk from back in the day or even now, from maybe 1999 and, and back further, further back, you got something golden in your arm. If you got one, you better hold on to that thing. That thing's going to be worth a whole lot of money. You know what I'm saying? So that's the Hulk comics right there. Now, next up is animation. Man, I've been waiting to get to this part, right? Animation. Hulk is one of the few characters that has the whole gambit. Comics, animation, 
movies. I even got one at move, TV shows. I'm not about to forget that TV shows. You know what I mean? Um, of course, can't forget that TV show with uh, Bill Bixby from back then in the 1990s. Oh my God, show was so good. Um, so good. Um, animation, right? So the Hulk. Let's let's get it, man. You know what I mean? He's one of those. Let's see here. I'm gonna get the Hulk, and then I'm gonna play for y'all. I'm gonna play for y'all animation. So the Incredible Hulk, the animation series was like in the 1990s. For a lot of y'all who don't know, man, that cartoon was awesome. 1996, two seasons, 13 episodes each. You know what I'm saying? Um, here we go. It was awesome. Are you kidding me, man? It was totally awesome. Avengers Assemble. Well, of course, Hulk, the 1996 animation series, two seasons, 13 episodes each, 1996 to 1997. Back then, man, to hear a cartoon only have 13 episodes is kind of shocking. He kind of kind of got the same treatment that Iron Man got, which was 13 episodes season one, 13 episodes season two. I'm still kind of shocked because back then in the 1990s, man, I, Marvel was just racking out cartoons left and right, man. You had Iron Man, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, X-Men. It was just insane. Um, let me see if I can find... I want to see if I can find some of these other cartoons for y'all, man. Hulk animations. Because there's been a whole bunch. Animation movies. There's, there's been a whole bunch. I got to find this for y'all. There's been too many. I got... Oh, yeah. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. He was actually in this one where he was in a CGI thing. It's called Iron Man and Hulk. Um, Avengers United. Um, and then there was Avengers Confidential. That was insane. They had Punisher. Had Black Widow, had Thor. Um, let's see here. That's the one. Where's oh yeah? And then you got one called Hulk and the Monsters of Dwellwell, which was had which had Doctor Strange on it. I mean, dude, I gotta show y'all this. Y'all y'all got to see this, man. It, it's off the chain. Nah, let me go back. There we go. Oh man, then the TV show. Oh my God, who's going to forget that? Look at this, y'all. That's all the animations right there. You know what I mean? I mean, the Hulk goes... I think I can find... Let me find Hulk Planet. It's got... There's got to be a Hulk Planet, man. And then you've got this one called... Um, uh, Superhero Adventures Frost Knight. Um, this is one right here. 
Heroes, Iron Man and Hulk, Heroes United. That was a good one too. Uh, let's see here. Images. No wonder why it ain't looking right. Let's see here. Can I bring this Joker up? Yes, I can. As you can see, Iron Man and Hulk in the corner right there. You know what I'm saying? These dudes doing big things. Let me see. I got to find the Hulk planet for y'all. That's the one y'all you, you, got to see. Hulk planet. It better come up. Hulk planet. That was a cool cartoon. God, that was good. There we go. That's the one. Actually, I got to show y'all this trailer. Y'all got to see this, man. Before, wait, hold up. Can I bring it up? It looks like I can. Oh, man. Man, these dudes. How you going? There we go. Last Planet Hulk right there. I think, as far as I know, this is the only animated movie I've ever seen. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm game for watching all kinds of animated movies, but this is the only animated movie I've ever seen, Planet Hulk. That was sick, man. He basically goes to a planet, and he gets he gets dropped over there by Iron Man and, and one of the uh, Avenged Jets. And they just leave him stranded there. Then he has to make his way through there. First, he starts off as a prisoner, kind of like a, like a gladiator movie with Russell Crowe type of approach to it. He gets dropped off, and the king decides, I'm going to use you for amusement and sport, and you're going to be over here fighting my whatever I say you're going to fight. And Hulk is like, nah, I'm going to lead the rebellion. And sure enough, no, he leaves the rebellion, man. But this is something I got to show y'all. This animated Planet Hulk animation. Let's see if I can bring it up. If it plays, oh, we got something here. If it don't, uh, I'll just look for Planet Hulk. The trailer. Is it going to play? The thing over there just dragging. You got to be kidding me. You need to save your strength for the game. Yes. We are en route to the Coliseum, where our deaths are scheduled for today's entertainment. A warrior who looks into the eyes of the enemy and stands in the crowd. Hulk Planet was a great cartoon. It's just one of those that, man, if you've never seen, you got to see it, man. Because Hulk, never, like I said, he, he don't get too much dessert, man. They don't show him that much love. And I feel like they could use him kind of in the same way um, maybe DC uses Darkseid, except it's a superhero. You see Darkseid a lot. You don't see Hulk a lot. Even in the movies, man. Like, it was weird not to see him in um, um, Winter Soldier. Sorry, sorry excuse me. Uh, Civil War. Of course, I don't know. I guess Thor wasn't there either. But I'm more of a Hulk fan than I am a Thor fan. So I'm not really tripping about Thor not being in the movie. You know what I mean? But Hulk, man. You know what I'm saying? The animations, they off the chain. There's no question, man. This dude is... This character is an incredible character. You know what I mean? You don't, it don't get no better than this. And then let's talk about the movie. Let's talk about the movies. Oh, my God. Movies. Movies. Movies, because I'm gonna say the TV shows. Like I, I still love the TV show till today. Um, Hulk movies, man. Do I even not? Let me, man. I'm gonna get y'all the movies. Hold up, Hulk. You know there's Hulk movies. Are you kidding me? The Incredible. So there's been two movies. One came out in 2000, 2003, and then the other one came out in 2012. Let me see here. I'm gonna look into this. So I can actually show you snippets of it. I thought the one that came out, the first one that came out was starring Eric Banner as, as Bruce Banner. That movie was not, oh hell no. It was a hell no. That's all I'm going to say. It was not that good. Let me, let me, let me see if I can pull it up. Hulk movies. It was not that good. Hell no. Hell no is all I'm going to say. But the second one, oh my God, that was so sick. Let me see here. So this is.
This was the movie, basically. Let me see here. I got to go back. I'm trying to find the one that I'm talking about, y'all. Because this is the one y'all need to see. The first one. And then you see the difference. And it, for, 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 for some people, they do know what it is. So, it's this one right here. This Hulk movie right here. That was the first one in 2003. And everybody that watched knows, oh, it was not that good. But then... Oh my God, came out this one right here. The Hulk with, with uh, Edward Norton. That was fire right there. Oh, that was so sick. Man, it was sick. It was released. So let's see here. Yeah, release date was 2008. So five years later, they, they cleaned up the mess. You know what I mean? Um, It did good, good in box office, actually. 264.8 million in box office. Budget was 137, between 137 million and 150. Like I said, I thought it was incredibly great. I still love watching. It. In fact, I, was, I just I watched it maybe two months ago on um, on Disney Plus. So if you have Disney Plus, you can definitely you might you can watch Hulk Planet. You can watch the Hulk first movie that came out in two thousand three. They can watch the second one that came out in two thousand eight. And they haven't made a single Hulk movie since then. Yo, how you gonna have the incredible Hulk and you ain't got no movies made? No movies coming down the pipeline. It make no sense, man. Sometimes, man. I swear to God, Marvel, man, they 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 trick me out sometimes, man. Let me see right here. Let me see if I can find the trailer. I'm not even going to play y'all the trailer for the Hulk. Uh, to, uh, uh, for, for 2003 one. It's just embarrassing. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah. I found it. There's still one thing that... Nobody likes commercials. Here we go. There are aspects of my personality that I can't control. So you shrink. It's a little bit more complicated than that. Bruce, trust me when I tell you I've heard them all. Not this one. <laughs> so good. So, so, so. Never seen anything even close to your level of exposure. Really? Did you survive an event like that? In the it's beyond my comprehension. I don't want to control it. I want to get rid of it. As far as I'm concerned, that man's whole body is property of the U.S. Army. They want it as a weapon. If we let it go, we will never get it back. It was sick. Sick, 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 sick. And we're back. Seeing that trailer makes me want to go watch the movie again on Disney Plus. And I've seen it way too many times. Way too many times. You know what I'm saying? Way too many times. Now, next up is the, is the last but not least part of the show. The move, the TV. The move, the TV shows. Man, the late great Bill Bixby had a great TV show called The Incredible Hulk from the 1980s. I think it was the 1980s, but we're about to find out right now. The Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk TV show. Man, this show was, was too good. It was, oh yeah, 1977 to 1982. I, it was, I can't believe how many seasons it was. It was insanely great. I'm going to show y'all. For y'all who don't know about it, I don't care if you think it's corny or not. I thought that show was, I thought the show was Spitfire. I'm sorry. I loved it too much. I got to show y'all this on DVD. Y'all got to see this trailer, man. It, it was 
so Bill Bixby was was Bruce Banner, and Lou Ferrigno, the bodybuilder, was the Hulk. It was it was before its time. It was so cool. So basically, the premise of it was Jack McGee, who's a reporter, tracks the Hulk that never since he becomes the Hulk, and it just makes his life a living misery. He follows him everywhere, and I mean everywhere. It never lets him have a peace of mind. There was nowhere the Hulk could go that he could have a peace of mind. It was insane. Y'all got to show y'all this, man. An ordinary man. Don't make me. Y'all, y'all got to see this, man. I got to show y'all this right here. Here, here we go. The Incredible Hulk. Let me see here. Um, let me see. Man, the Hulk TV show was off the chain, man. I mean, it's it's one of those um. Oh my God! Like it had okay, so five seasons. Let me. I gotta check here. Two seasons, which is shocking. I gotta. I I, I gotta tell y'all all the seasons here. Okay, so how many seasons was the Hulk? Let's look it up. Y'all know what's up. I'm about to find this. Hulk. It's the coolest. It was just cool as hell. Like I told y'all, 1978 to 1982, five seasons starring Bill Bixby as the Hulk, the late great Bill Bixby, rest in peace. Luke Verigno was the Hulk himself. Um, it was sick, man. Jack Calvin was this reporter called Jack McGee. God, I loved this show. Oh my God. So first episode was in 1978. Man, if you, you can, I know you can find it. So the first episode aired in March 10th, 1978. Um, it is just sick as hell. Now that I'm talking about it, I'm gonna go on Disney Plus and see if I can find it, man. Because this show was off the chain. If if you, I'm not gonna say anymore. You just gotta go watch it. It is one of the sickest, coolest shows ever. Um, you won't find. It's very rare that you find a, a show that's that's that good. Even though it was made back then. Like this, this the props. This the props that I always give the cats in the past. They had less technology, but they were way more creative. You know what I'm saying? It was just way too more, way more creative. You know what I mean? So this TV show is just an example of what I'm talking about. So, you know, the Hulk. So, you know, the Hulk, his origins, history, powers, comics, animation, comics. And of course, the movie, the TV shows. Dude, it doesn't get any better than that, man. You know what I mean? I even had to write notes about this. I almost forgot that there was a TV show. I was all excited about talking about, uh... Talking about the character, man. But the TV show itself was off the chain. So that's our show for today, The Incredible Hulk. I feel like the most misunderstood superhero, like, ever. The Hulk is... But he, to me, he's, he's the coolest. Like, I can't wait for them to do a Marvel vs. DC again so he can beat Superman's ass. I am so tired of Superman getting props or not. And the Hulk can actually fight. That's another cool thing about the Hulk. He's just a cool-ass character. The Hulk is like that dude could be that could be your cousin that wouldn't let anybody bully you. You know what I'm saying? The Hulk is just that dude. Misunderstood. And the Hulk, and the thing about the Hulk is that once he's loyal to you, he's loyal to you. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to watch Avengers Earth's Mighty Heroes, which I still watch. Which I'm watching right now. Season 1, episode number 23, I, I believe I'm on. Him and the Captain America have that scene where, and the Hulk's looking like, well, what you want? And the Captain America's like, you know what? No matter how people treat you, you always still do the right thing. So go ahead and smash. And then the Hulk's like, yeah, he's smiling, grinning, like, yeah, I'm about to go to work on these dudes. But, you know, Hulk, once he's loyal to you and he knows that you understand that he's not a villain he's actually the hero and he's he, he actually goes out of his way not to be seen which is the trippy part that trips me out about the whole aura of the character and, and i think that's a premise and a, um and you have to give homage to the people that the creators where they always kind of create that scenario where there is like hulk is trying to hide himself but he's not trying to be seen yet people keep finding him edward norton did a great job as bruce banner um i'm not saying that um oh my god i forgot this guy this gentleman that played uh, in the movie let me see here uh avengers Um, yeah, Mark Ruffalo. I'm not saying Mark Ruffalo wasn't a great Hulk. This is just that Edward, I just like the Edward Norton version better. I, because the, the, the Hulk version, I think the, the Hulk, the Edward Norton, I mean the Mark Ruffalo version, they look too, the Hulk and Mark Ruffalo look too much alike. Like, I've never thought that the Hulk and Mark Ruffalo and the, and the Bruce Banner should be, look anything alike. They're totally two different beings. But you know, hey man, but like I said, the head credit Hulk, is that dude and i'm so glad i had a chance to talk about him and as far as this drawings right here i know y'all are wondering can you get a poster yes you can you can visit sonicision.com and get this awesome poster right here the incredible hulk i love me the hulk i'm gonna have to go get this on my bomber jacket man because i know there ain't nobody walking around especially the way i make bomber jackets that's what's up so that's our show for today Both
today. Before we get up out of here, we gotta talk about the cool stuff we got. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we're going into winter time, so if you love masks, guess what we got here? Reusable custom design mask superheroes on it. This one's got Cajun, but we got ones with Carjack for Assassins, as you can see right here. And yes, you can put it on your face. It's real easy. I work out with this stuff all the time. I wear this. You know what I'm saying? If I'm at work, I wear it too. You know what I mean? I got all kinds of characters. I got Iron Man. You know what I'm saying? I got, of course, I got the company logo, of course. Sunny Division. Then I've got Blade, of course. You know what I mean? I got Blade as well. So I got all kinds of characters. Iron Man, Turtles, Mega Man. You name it, I got it on there. You know what I'm saying? Then also, too, laptops. If you love your laptop case, we got laptop cases right here now. You know what I'm saying? Waterproof custom design laptop cases. Card of Assassin's Classic on this side. Modern version 5 on this side right here. And you can get any character. Blade, Iron Man, Mega Man, Black Panther, Wonder Woman, Voltron, um, Black Panther. I already said that. Black Lightning. Uh, um, shoot. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, you name it, man, we can get it in it. Then also, can't also forget travel neck pillows, right? Even though it's winter, people still travel in the winter. And travel neck pillows, when you're on your plane, when you're on the plane, it's real nice to have your neck not hurting all kinds of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Not hurting all kinds of crazy. So, yo, travel neck pillows, and we got them different characters too. Check that out. Look at how comf comfy that is right there. You know what I mean? I'm just on the plane, just chilling, man. You know what I mean? So... Carjack for Assassin's Classic on this side. Carjack for Assassin's Modern 5 on this side right here, man. And then, of course, the footwear. The footwear just gets sicker and sicker all the time. Low tops and high tops. Carjack for Assassin's right here, you know what I mean? You got them in multiple colors. You can see right here, this is the black. And I want to make sure y'all can see the details on the character. So, I'm going to do just like this because I don't want my hand blocking it. But check that out, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. This is what we do in the sound of vision. Everything I do is custom, y'all. I don't do generic stuff. You know what I mean? I can't tell my people to tell me these shoes are sick as hell. And it's not because they're black. It's just because they're cool as hell. This is what I do with my art, man. You know what I'm saying? Card Jobs Assassin's Bottom 5 on this side. Version 1 on this side. Then, of course, the newest toy in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the arsenal. The sport ones. You know what I'm saying? Let me check this out, man. They are sick. And we got them in multiple... Not to mention, I, I, reject, I, re, I redesigned the sport ones. Just like I redesigned the low tops. Look at this, man. The art is sick on it. Look at the detail. I want y'all to see from the front, too. Check that out. And check out the inside, right? Look at that. Totally different. Yeah, that's right. It's sick. And then check this one out. And then check this out on the inside. Man, this is what we're doing a sound this vision, man. And then, of course, it's got the grip handle on the, on the back of the shoe so you can hold the shoes right here. Then it's just great and comfortable for running. I mean, look at the base of it. I know you're wondering what it looks like. Look at the base of it, man. These shoes are so sick. These are the wear to work ones right here. You know what I'm saying? But I, I got my ones that I used to work out, man. So, Bata Sport ones, man. So, we got all kinds of good gear. And then, of course, you can see the bomber jacket. Just let y'all take a snap look at it, man. Look at this. The detail on it. And then, you check this out. The right arm. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about my bomber jacket is I can make the front one color, this arm one color, this arm one color, and the back one color. Let's check out the back, man. Just to let you know. This is what we're doing in Sunday's Vision. You know what I mean? And this is... This is the a rig, this is like a classic um, gold label bomber jacket, right? This is the second level of bomber jacket. This ain't even the platinum label. So you know our stuff I make on Sun Vision is so sick and so cool. You got to go get you one. And of course the beanies. I mean we're going into winter, man. Now we've changed the beanie style. It's light, but it still gives you warmth. You know what I mean? Check this out, man. Cajun beanie right here. Look at this right here. And you flip it, you got a different color. Because I got dual colors. I got the classic Cajun right here. But it's, it's got two sets of art, man. So people be like, you got two beanies? Now I just got one, man. But it's a two-for-one sale. This is what we do in the Vision. Then, of course, I got another one. Card for Assassins. You got the classic Card for Assassins beanie right here. You got the classic characters right here. Everything Card for Assassins. You know how I do. Then you flip it. You got the version 5 on this side. So whether you order Iron Man, Batman, Wonder Woman, Voltron, Mega Man, you name it, does not matter. Every beanie's got two sets of art in it, and it's going to look super cool when I'm done with it. You know what I mean? So that's our show for today, man. And before we get up out of here, can't forget about Card Drive for Assassin's comic book, right? You know what I'm saying? We've been, uh, we, we, we're going through this, 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 the bio book is going to get you ready for the first official Card Drive for Assassin's comic book, which is going to be all that in a bag of chips. It's through correction phases right now. I've never been so proud of something, man. I mean, it's just, even just to look at it, I can't believe I'm the one who created it. And then to top it off, the, uh, the animation intro, 
I'm getting so good at animation that I decided I'm going to do a, a whole new animation intro, which is going to be way cooler than the original one that I showed y'all. So, Card Draft Assassin's bio book, available on scientific.com, because when you get this book, it's going to help you to understand the first official Card Draft Assassin's comic book that's coming out. And not to forget, check this out, man. Card Jack's on this side right here. You know what I'm saying? Then, of course, and of course, you got the Assassin's on this side right here. So, I'm not going to show y'all everything. Then you go get this book, man. It's worth the read. It is worth the read. I haven't had anybody buy it, not tell me it's not worth the read. So, go get you a copy, Card Draft Assassin's, man. So, y'all, that's our show for today. So, I want to thank y'all for listening. Before we got up out here, I want to thank our sponsors. This Sound Vision Podcast is brought to you by Anadel for the Nacko. Don't live with foot pain like Anadel for the Nacko. Make your feet happy again. That's AnadelCenter.com for details, y'all. That's AnadelCenter.com for details, y'all. As I stated before, you know what I'm saying? Today was about the Hulk. I was very excited about talking. I've been waiting a long time to talk about the Hulk. The Hulk is that dude. He's, he's one of the few characters that isn't in the Card of Assassin's characters universe that gets me excited. You know, you got Blade, you got Iron Man, you got Batman. You know what I'm saying? You got Wonder Woman. And then, of course, the Hulk just like, he's that dude. You know what I mean? Black Panther, of course. That's another character that gets me excited. You know what I mean? So, I want to thank you for listening, man. Um, this podcast, thank you for listening, all right, y'all? So, that's our show for today. This podcast is produced, written, and directed by yours truly, Adewala Booker Jr. Please check out our website for all our cool stuff. Beanies, bomber jackets, t-shirts, sweatpants, laptop cases, uh, um, travel neck pillows, um, masks, um, beanies, Bata's footwear, sport ones, high tops, low tops, wedge bats, wedge sneakers for the ladies. You know, you know what I'm saying? Comic books. You know what I mean? We doing all kinds of stuff, man. You know what I mean? All kinds of cool stuff. And don't forget, we're using the 15% off coupon for the rest of this month of September. 15% off all orders. You know what I'm saying? Then we've got also got the cool new uh, birthday cards on there now. Give greeting cards. So all kinds of characters with that too. And uh, please subscribe to our podcast on our YouTube channel because that's where everything is now. Everybody's got a visual station. I don't care. Nobody's trying to listen just anymore. It's a visual society. And YouTube indirectly is going to be the feature of where most of, I figure, if I'm going to be seen, YouTube and Facebook are the perfect spots for my podcast. So subscribe. So whenever you get new episodes come up, you can go listen because the episodes are always off the chain. Hey, this is how I don't do. If I wasn't so good at this, I wouldn't keep doing it. But I'm so good at it, so I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to be great at it always. You know what I mean? So subscribe to our podcast so you can get new episodes every week man and please check us our social media platforms at twitter instagram tiktok facebook youtube all at sound vision i keep saying it if you don't have a social media platform you ain't doing nothing man free advertising you can even get money if you get big enough how you think all these celebrities are doing living their livelihood they ain't gotta always do what they do they can just post something on social media get like a gazillion views and then facebook can send them a check man or youtube or whichever platform they're using man these platforms are the way to go. It ain't just about seeing weird stuff on social media. It's about promoting your brand, whatever that is. I'm an artist, and then I differ in all kinds of stuff. Footwear, art, apparel, um, accessories f- with art, phone cases, all kinds of different cool stuff, man. So son, get get your social media wrong because if, you ain't, if you're an artist and you ain't doing it, you really putting yourself behind the eight ball, man. And please, don't forget to review us, rate us, give us a five star. Don't be a hater. Keep that hater rating nonsense to yourself, man. And as always, y'all, continue to aspire and achieve. Have a great week. Stay safe, y'all. Peace.